knowing what to watch for, and keeping his garments. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Lest you don't keep the commandments of the Most High and they see your shame being thrown, cast into the lake of fire. That's what we're talking about. Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Mashiach and Hashiach. So just because you're part of the covenant don't mean anything. You ain't keeping the commandments of the Most High, have faith in the Mashiach and Hashiach and fear in the Most High also. Revelations 22.14 Blessed are they that do his commandments. Gotta do these commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life. Remember we read in Ezra the 8th chapter. The tree of life is planted. They may have right to the tree of life to live forever. And may enter in through the gates into the city. New Jerusalem. Now the gates of the city, I mean, come on. How are you going to Put the gates of the city with anyone but the 12 tribes of Israel. Look, go to uh, Revelation 21. Verse 12. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates. So you do the commandments of the Most High, you can enter into these 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Now you mean the most I couldn't say every nation? The names written to every nation that he created? No. This is New Jerusalem. Look, verse 10. Revelation 21 and 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city. The holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from the most high. Coming out of heaven from the most high. Having the glory of the most high. And her light was like unto a stone most precious. Even like a jasper stone. As clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high. And had twelve gates. Remember it says. And notice the 22 14. So the last book of the Bible. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Doing the commandments of the Most High, keeping the commandments of the Most High. That's what he's saying. Listen. And had a wall, verse 12 of Revelation 21, and had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates. This man was, you may enter into the gates, had 12 gates. And at the gates, twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. So if you're not of the children of Israel, you're not going to the pearly gates, as y'all want to say. No. Listen, on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. So that's twelve gates. So your tribe... One of your tribe, your tribe, you can go on one of them gates. Is in the north, south, east, or west? Still dealing with who? The twelve tribes of Israel. Your tribe said Judah, going to the gates to say Judah. Benjamin, going to the gates to say Benjamin. Levi, going to the gates to say Levi. Simeon, going to the gates to say Simeon. Zebulon, going to the gates to say Zebulon. Ephraim, going to the gates to say Ephraim. Judah and Levi in the north. The next three on the south. About three months ago, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, one gate. Now, now Dali, Asher, and Issachar on the other gate. It covers all directions. North, south, east, and west. There it is. Twelve tribes of Israel. I can't get by that. Verse 13, on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates. And on the west three gates. That is. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations. 
and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And we told the twelve apostles they're going to sit on the throne judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Hallelujah for the most high's word. It's true. If people want to accept it now. It's true. So that's what we're working for. That's why I said repent, keep the laws of the most high, the covenants with the children of Israel, the flood tribes of Israel, who are forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we got next, forever and ever and ever. Daniel 7, 18. Daniel 7, 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Now we know the saints defined in Psalms 1, 48, 14. Who the saints? We can't just leave it out there because people that go to church will say, oh, the saints is there, everybody. Remember the song? When the saints go marching in, oh yeah, they use that to say that means everybody. But the Bible defines itself. Psalms 148, 14. He also exalted the horns of the power of his people. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. Proving who his people is and who the saints are. Even of the children of Israel. Who are we? A people near unto him. Praise ye the most high. So that defines the saints, the children of Israel. So Daniel 7, 18. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom even forever, even forever and ever. Verse 27. In the kingdom, in the dominion, and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, who are the twelve tribes of Israel, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And we're going to be able to eat of the tree of life, which is plant. Wait on us. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. All dominions are going to serve and obey the most high through my shot. Hitherto is the end of the matter. That's all I got to say. All praise to the most high. The Mashiach Kavashai, the Lord Savior, Bashem, Mashiach I hope that was edifying. We'll continue on next week. Hallelujah. 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 Take your donations and alms to help this ministry continue to go forward. A lot of things in the mix for the future. That's P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801. That's 3012. And I'm out. Shalom.